YouTube Electric Adventures here with another package from Japan. Uh, this is the third um, in the series, um, basically after the other two. And this is uh, sort of following after I managed to get the Japanese PlayStation for four dollars. So you can sort of hint at the titles in here. So it's when I started looking at the PlayStation section. Um, most of them, most of the, especially the PlayStation items in here. Haven't spent very much money at all, except for one, which is actually a Grail item. There are a, a couple of other items along for the ride, though. Now, as usual with these people, it is wrapped really well. So we're getting to this. Now these first two titles... One is in the sense category, and the other one... I think I paid about three dollars or three or four dollars for. So the first one is in the sense it's basically an RPG, it looks like a dungeon crawler, uh, but it's another one of the Nemcot cases. Uh, so we'll have to see whether it's playable. So I don't know the exact title. And they said it's from two months ago, so it's a little hard to remember. It's in one another one of these ones in the nice Nemcot cases. But we look like a bit of a 3D dungeon crawler, and it does actually mostly look in English. A bit, obviously, a bit of dialogue text. And the uh, manual's a little scruffy. And there's the cartridge. Actually, that cartridge looks familiar. Yeah, no, I don't think I have it, but anyway. Another one of those nice clamshell cases. Another one. Um, it might have been about five dollars, but this is Binary Land Complete, uh, and it's got the um, you know the even though it's Hudson Soft, it's got the penguin there. I was thinking the Konami penguin, nothing really of much interest on the back. Um, it's a single single screen sort of puzzle game, and it actually has a pink cartridge. Doesn't look like oh yeah, there's a manual back there. We have a manual, so that one's complete. Um, we'll have to see what that one's like. Um, okay, continuing on the same system. I said they really do wrap these very well, especially since I said this has been in transit for um, it, it is over two months actually. This one. Um, okay, well, this one's pretty easy. It's Galaga, which they spelt Garaga. Um, normally, a, gar a Galaga, spelt correctly, uh, in a box like this, goes for about $14, $15, and I believe I got this for four. But it was spelt Garaga. And I got lucky. I've bid on Galaga probably more than half a dozen times and haven't really been prepared to go much past 10 so that's complete i mean it's it's the box isn't perfect but it's still quite good i'm not sure i've actually played galaga on the nes yet either so cartridge is in really good condition the top sticker's been put on and we have a fold out set of instructions so very pleased to get that one. Um, I do have a, you know, I like my arcade games and of course my shoot 'em ups. So let's put that one away. Now, and this is another one I believe I was lucky to get. It's one of my favourite games on the MSX, and I've always been curious to see what the the NES Famicom version is like. It was spelt Exelon, so this is usually where I get lucky. And uh, once again, I got this for four or five dollars, and it's Exerion, boxed and complete. I believe the screenshots flip, and it looks pretty decent. So I both have Exerion one and two for the MSX, and I've got Exerion one for the um, Sega um, SG one thousand SC three thousand computers. So the box is, there's no plastic tray, so the box is a little floppy, but we have 
and we have the manual, which I'll just hold upside down, and we have the cartridge. I don't think it's a top label, but it's a Jalco type. Sorry, I'm getting a bad amount of reflection. And over the back, it's even got a screenshot on the back of the cartridge, that's unusual. Very interesting um, shoot 'em up, Xerian. This is one I played back in the day and I quite like. Um, you have two fire modes. So I think you'll be having a decent play of that one. Um, okay. And some loose cartridges. So switching systems. This whole lot I ended up getting for $12. And they do actually post lots of um, loose cartridges quite regularly. And here we go. And actually, I, well, I wasn't lying. I don't actually have a copy of Exurion for the um, SG1000, SC3000 computers until this lot. Get confused about what comes of what. But there we go, a loose copy of Exurion. I have played it because I have a multi cart for the SC3000. So I haven't ever seen a box one of this. Um, and very, very dusty. We have Zippy Race. I don't believe I've got that one either. I'm a racing game, just to see what it's like. Uh, Champion Pro Wrestling. We'll have to double check whether any of these are doubles. And Champion Tennis. I'm sure I've got Champion Tennis. Oh, I'll have to wait and see. So, four. <coughs> oh, pardon me, there's a bit of dust with those. <coughs> Alright, we'll switch systems again. Get over there because I need a bit of room. Now, this is a fairly big lot. So, this, um, I mean, this is this left three weeks after the other lot. It was just a period when they were posting, uh, you know, quite a number of items. Okay, next we have another title for the Japanese Nintendo 64 collection. And one of my absolute favourite Nintendo 64 games, it is Star Wars Rogue Leader. Or Rogue Squadron, isn't it? The, the very first game, Rogue Squadron. And the box is in pretty good condition. A bit um, dipped in there. What a great game. I think I only just, not that many months ago, finally got a copy back for the PAL um, Nintendo 64. So we're all complete in there. Cartridge is in good condition and the manual is in good condition. Quite different art than the Western one. It's another game that supports the memory expansion if you have it and runs at a slightly higher resolution as well. Which I do have a memory expansion from my Japanese 64. So, box is a little rough. Oh, once again, did not pay a lot of money for that. I actually try and not pay any more than $10 for these Nintendo 64 titles. Okay, now two titles that I did pay a bit more for because there are two more items in my uh, Mega Drive uh, Shoot 'em Up collection. Now, first is one. Yeah, I don't. I didn't have either of these. So first is one. I mean, because I'm obviously collecting them all in Japanese now, so I will occasionally replace one. First one is which I've never played at all is Whip Rush which is a horizontal scrolling shooter. Oh, right, there we go. That looks quite interesting. But it's got quite nice cover art. And, wow, pristine condition on the inside. So I said, never played this one at all, or even seen a gameplay, so that one's going to be interesting. Now this one, I have played this game on other systems. Um, it's basically the Mega Drive version of Dragon Spirit, and it's Felios, well at least that's what I think it looks like. 
I mean, although maybe you're not flying a dragon, maybe you're flying a bird, so it looks a lot like that. So, once again, I haven't ever played this on the Mega Drive. Screenshots look very good. If the screenshots will behave. And these look really, really new condition. And once again, pristine on the inside. So, some excellent addition to the um, uh, Mega Drive Japanese shoot em ups and shoot em ups collection in general. As I said, I'm not completing the PAL shoot em ups and I won't necessarily replace all of the PAL versions with Japanese ones either. Only, I mean, some of them, especially only if I find them cheap. Now, this is my the cheapy part of my PlayStation 1 this um, we have another one in the Nemco Museum collection, we've got Volume 1 now this one has Pac-Man, Bosconian, Galaga, Rally X, which is a great game Toy Pop and Pole Position and uh, I mean the two I'll be playing the most on there will probably be Bosconian and Rally X unwrapping Sorry, a bit more people rearranging here. Yeah, and so to keep it in order, and with spine card too, okay. I'll go for a couple of box. It's volume two in Nemco Museum, which has some quite different games. Cutie, Gapalus, uh Grow Grobda or something, Xevious, Mappy, awesome, and Dragon Buster. Cool. So I think that gives me volumes one, two, and three of the Nemco Museum. And instead of switch to PlayStation games because they're they're cheap. I mean, still some titles will go for silly amounts. I just leave those alone. Uh, next one, with spine card, but for a dollar or so, it's Space Invaders. It's got the spine card, but it is to shoot 'em up. So. In the I think there's quite a few. Oh, sorry, we're getting really bad reflection. Quite a few different varieties of games, but at the end of the day, just going to be um, just going to be Space Invaders. But we'll we'll have a go. All in really good nick on the inside, and then a cheapy set of three sets of these come up all the time. We have Crash Bandicoot. One, and I've never had the ones on the original PlayStation. I started playing Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation 2 with Wrath of Cortex. Number two, it is just a you know 2.5D platform game, so I should be able to play these fine. And number three, so I haven't played any of these, I've only played Wrath of Cortex. And last but not least, and this is, um, you could say, a grail item of mine. When I bought my original PlayStation 1, which I bought fairly late <coughs> in the PlayStation 1's life, um, there was a particular, I mean, um, games I wanted. I wanted uh, Alien Trilogy. I wanted the Die Hard Trilogy, because that was one I played at a friend of mine's place. Um, and I knew that there was a version of Raiden out for it. Um, I actually got our local, and there was an EB Games back then, um, to, because it wasn't a game that was stocked everywhere, because there were so many stations, and this is a little bit later in the PlayStation 1's life, and, and it was before the PlayStation 2 came out, but um, nobody stopped the, all the Raiden Project, and they had one copy floating amongst all the stores, and... I got the guy because I knew I was getting the PlayStation 1 second hand off a friend and uh, I knew that was coming with Alien Trilogy and I think I might have bought Die Hard Trilogy separately and I got him to get the copy of Raiden Project transferred to the store um, and I didn't get, then get, get to go back to the um, the shopping centre until the next Friday because I went out on the Friday went in and um, they went and sold it to somebody else 
so I never ever got my copy of Raiden Project. Now I don't know whether there's different editions or anything like that, but obviously this is a copy of Raiden Project. It's in reasonable condition. So I have never played Raiden on the PlayStation 1 and it is supposed to be a damn good version. As close as you can get to the arcade and we even have the spine card. So we've got some spine cartridge. As Conus Delaro would say. And this pretty much spotless. So awesome. So there's some great games in here. Uh, that is one of the ones I'm really looking forward to playing the most. Um, so yeah, it won't be a complete gameplay because I'll probably get far too far in it and it'll take up all the video. So a really big lot. Um, I will play these games, some of these games I may, uh, the gameplays may go out a bit, so we may be onto a two-parter here. It might be safe in saying that we're probably going to have a two-parter. So, I hope you've enjoyed the pickup part of the video. Alright, let's go play some of those games. Here we go with Exurion on the Sega SC3000 computer. Um, also, it works on SG1000 uh, game console. Just using a Sega Master System gamepad. So I really like Exerion as a game. Um, it's a game that uses two buttons. So your first buy button, uh, you have to constantly press. It does give you a, a double shot. So the aliens come down in the patterns. And you have the interesting uh, flying, whoops, flying and swooping over the landscape. And your ship floats so and it has a bit of momentum to it. Oops. Oh. Yeah, so you can't just change one one side to the other. Now every enemy I hit builds up my charge. Which I can use with the rapid shot. Whoops, and I mean, obviously, besides a little bit of clarity issues with the ship over the fancy backgrounds, it's actually quite a. It's actually quite a um, colourful game, and using some reasonably fancy techniques to get this working. Ah, techniques, and I died on that stage. Um, so it's a really good, fun game, um, and I like Exerion. That this game is pretty much identical on MSX, and I also have uh, Exerion 2 on MSX, which is called Zorni. I did a video of that recently. Uh, I prefer Exerion 2 because it's that next version. I don't know whether there is an Exerion 2 out for the Sega, so we shall see whether they only brought it out for the MSX later on, and not their own system. Alright, let's try the next title. Right, next we have Champion Pro Wrestling. Um, now I'm hopeless at representing games, so this is going to be um, very interesting. So I don't know what the computer's going to play like. I don't even know which man I am yet. Right, so I've got no control at the moment. Okay. I'm the guy on the right. Oops. Drop kick. <laughs> now what am I supposed to do? Get up. And he dropped get me again. Right, move out of the way. I really don't know the moves, so I'm suffering greatly here. So I can't seem to move up. But it looks like there's a fair variety of stuff available that you can do. I mean, 
looks quite colourful and everything like that. Um, I probably I'm not going to get anywhere unless I look up what some of the actual moves are. No, fall, I'm down. So he's got one bout to him. No, do the same thing again. I don't seem to be able to do much with it. Right. You sort of you select what you're going to do. Uh, okay, so it's sort of like a menu system and then you have to do the attack, so you've got to do that quickly. So it doesn't look a too bad game. Um, obviously I'm hopeless at it, but um, actually quite colourful and for wrestling fans it would be quite good. I will get um, instructions on the moves and stuff like that and have a bit more of a play of it later. Alright, let's try the next game. Right, next we have Zippy Race. Um, oh, cool. So, very cool racing game. So there we 
we go, we made it to Las Vegas. And our rank uh, is our bonus, so the better rank you get, the more bonus you get. It's interesting, and you get more fuel, and obviously that's going to limit how far we can get on the next stage. Yeah, and then you've got a and different music, so there we go. And the stage is completely different too, so it's got a lot of variety in it. So we'll definitely be playing this one some more. All right, let's try our next game. Right, here we go with Xerion on the Famicom. Be interesting to compare it to the Sega version. So, for the start, we're going to have sideways scrolling. Playground wraps around. Right, so I'm just using the one fire button at the moment. Well, there's the red fire. Stay until you kill them all. Oh, and we've got a bit of an enemy attacking us. Well, obviously, this is a lot more galaxy. It's a lot more complicated game. It'd be a good game to play with the arcade stick, this one. Oh, and I fell right into that. So, not a bad version at all. I'll definitely be playing some more of that one. Right, here we go, Galaga. Good old entry music. I think we just have one button fire. Seems to be running at quite a good speed, and the colours look pretty good. Definitely a flat. Capture. Seems to be a very thorough. Sorry, concentrate. Pull that up close. There we go, finish one level. So this is a very... You know, pretty much almost arcade. Perfect. With slight variations on the colours. Ship again, let's get up to the challenge stage so we can check that there is one. Which I'm sure there will be. Alright, it's a very good version of Galaga. Definitely worth having. Alright, let's try the next one. Okay, here we go with Binary Land. A uh, title I know absolutely nothing about. Uh, you can obviously play as one or two characters. So we'll go as the Green Penguin. Maybe you can play this two player cooperatively. Oh, my controls are reflecting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is entice the spider. No. These reverse controls are. Let's try that again. 
So basically, I'm, I'm, the primary directions are the green penguin. Right. Whips. That's a very different game, isn't it? Um, not too bad in the end. Alright, let's try the next one. Here we go with our unnamed um, game. Adventure game. So I take it there will be a little bit of... Uh, okay, this is beefing up our stats. Second character. A bit more even. There's the picture on the front of the cartridge. Right, so we've got a dungeon. We've got two characters down the bottom. Sense when you go backwards. See if we can find a creature, eh? Don't want to go around in circles. Hey, there we go. We've well, met somebody. Alright. Um, oh, password. So I think when you press back, it actually flips you right around. That's where my confusion is. Well, there we go, it's a map type explore game and probably turn based combat when we finally get there. So, probably quite playable uh, with a bit of um, working out, so not too bad. Alright, let's try the next game. So here we go with one of my favourite arcade games ever. And it's Raiden Project, and it has Raiden, the original Raiden, and Raiden 2, and I haven't actually played Raiden 2 very much at all. Um, so let's go for the first one. We'll only have a quick look, because I can actually play Raiden for quite a while. But I thought I'd show you from the load screen. I already had a quick test of this, so I know both. So 
there will be a bit of a jump cut. So it displays quite tall. Um, checking my capture. Yeah, it's capturing okay. So let's get started. Let's put a credit in. Two sorts of ribbons, uh, blue, which is just selected, and red. Uh, yeah, ground targets. This, this is secondary weapons, so I've selected the forward facing missiles. There's homing misses as well. I've played this a few times, so. So we know the patterns. We have your bonus objectives. Just wait for that to change that to there's no point powering up switching between weapons because you miss out on power ups then. When you switch weapons you don't get you don't progress up. Secret here. Big circle. It takes a little while for the new weapon to actually be useful. In some fire you can shoot like those guys, but I was being shot at by a tank at the same time, so. See, it's got a lot of hard uh, hitting for firepower. It's an extra bomb, which is good considering I wasted two at the start there. Press the wrong button. And it's got great music. Coming up to the boss. Bosses. Basically here. When you've got the blue weapon powered up like that, it doesn't take long to get rid of him. Just gotta be careful we'll not be able to get this one. Oh I went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, it does knock you back a little bit. I've got the fairy. Well, So, yeah, I've got less forward firing power now. We'll at least show you the end of the stage. Put that on the bomb. Alright, well, we'll leave it at that and we'll go and have a quick look at Raiden 2.